Today I'm very excited to be playing with some succulent items from the Not Too Shabby Shop along with some card sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge 14 to hopefully make some succulent cards. Hey, it's Beth. Welcome to the KCC 14 Not Too Shabby Shop collaboration hop uh, that some of the Kendra's Card Challenge collaboration team members are participating in. Today we are, I am working with the succulent 6x6 pad from Not Too Shabby. I thought it was so cute. Just a lot of cacti and succulents. And I have the coordinating ephemera for that. And then I also have some enamel dots that I just thought kind of coordinated with some of the colors in the pad. So Not Too Shabby is a super sponsor, so they were kind enough to uh, allow me to have some of these items to play with. And today I am going to be working with Sketch 9 and Sketch 12 from Kendra's Card Challenge 14. I've chosen a couple patterns of the paper to work with and I'm going to start with sketch 12 and get my pieces cut down according to the dimensions on the card sketch. One nice thing about Kendra's card challenges is that not only does she give you cutting guides for six six by six sheets of paper but and then the card sketches that use all those pieces from the six by six papers. She also gives you the individual dimensions on each card sketch so if you want to just make one card at any given time you can easily do so and that's what I'm doing today is just using the individual like the dimensions on each individual card sketch. I did bring in a peach cardstock to matte since uh, the pattern paper had a white background and then I'm using white cardstock with another peach matte for my circle element in the center and then I chose I wanted kind of a more solid green and for my strips that go at the top and bottom of the circle and so I found kind of a mint tone on tone pattern in the pad so I'll get all of these adhered down and again I said this was a hop so there will be a playlist linked in the description box below for you that you can click on and just kind of binge watch all of the participants in the hop and see what not too shabby shop products they've used and the beautiful projects that they have made so I wanted to kind of hold that circle in place temporarily so I can, I figured that will help me line up those strips where I wanted them to go before I put my circle down permanently. There will also be a bunch of other links in the description box below for you. I'll link the Not Too Shabby Shop. It will be uh, my affiliate link so you can check out their products. Uh, there will be a giveaway form linked down there that you can fill out after you've watched all the videos and have a chance to win a prize from Cards by Kendra. And there will also be the video um, Cards by Kendra's video where she kind of introduces KCC 14 and tells you more information about it if you've not already looked into that. So lots, there's always lots of good important information and links down in the description for you. One of the reasons I picked the two card sketches I did was because they allowed me to not only showcase the paper, like this sketch is great for doing the paper and the ephemera, but I also wanted to play with the some of the ephemera in the pack because I really liked the succulents that were included in the ephemera pack. I have a simple happy birthday sentiment that I had already stamped in my stash on, so it was like the perfect size, happened to work out really well for the sentiment on this particular sketch. I wanted to pop it up a little bit though since it was going to be laying across those circle layers. So I pulled in some scrap cardstock that was sitting off to the right on my desk and just trimmed it down to fit the back. And then I do end up bringing in another little bit um, of cardstock to put on the right side again to help it lay flat. So if you watch my channel a lot, you know I don't use foam very often. I tend to use scrap cardstock because that is ever present in my craft room and I'm always trying to find some ways to use that up. 
Also, something that I always like to do is add a little bit of something to the inside of the card. So I try to use some of the pattern paper scraps I have, and that helps not only pull the patterns from the front of the card to the inside, but it just adds a little bit of decoration to the inside and brings some color in there as well. And I will finish off my card with some of those enamel dots. And these are, these did not go with this cute lint collection, but the colors did fit pretty well. And so that's why I went ahead and got these to use with this collection because the, especially the light blue greens, and then even some of the pinks I think would work with some of the other patterns that I didn't use. So I'm gonna be jumping back to sketch nine and using this tan sheet and really the only this is the only strip I end up cutting with that tan sheet so I didn't even think about that but I had like that pattern and then since I had some of that uh, white background left I'm going to use that for my other strip that the sketch calls for and then I have my white square and then this time I'm matting with some mint green cardstock and the, these are just cardstocks in my stash I don't have a color name to give you because I've probably had them forever and I'll go ahead and get my card put together Kendra also has a Facebook group that you can submit photos of your card challenge cards each quarter to have more opportunities to win prizes. So there are so many opportunities to win prizes from Cards by Kendra, you know, whether you're following along on the hops or she's got several different giveaways for photos that are uploaded on the Facebook group as well. So that link is also down in the description box for you. So if you haven't played along yet, um, it's really fun to do so and we all like to see your cards. So like I said, one of the reasons I chose this particular sketch was because I could play with the ephemera. So I chose three pieces that kind of worked well together. That succulent on the far right there actually is in the pattern paper strip on the far left. So it kind of all ties together and I was brave and decided to stamp my happy birthday sentiment directly onto the white cardstock there. And then I decided I wanted that middle succulent to be popped up just a little bit. So I'm gonna glue that hanging succulent, or I'm going to say it's hanging. It could just be sitting on a shelf and dangling, I guess, but I'm gonna count it as a hanging succulent. And then I'm gonna do that taller one on the right and then I will do the succulent with the pot right there in the center and it'll kind of be popped up a little bit to sit in front of both of the other ones. Again adding, I had two strips left from, or two smaller bits left from the strips that I did on the left side of the card, so I will add those to the inside. And then I plan to like finish it off with some enamel dots, but I decided it needed something else down on the left, the bottom left corner there. I felt like it needed something a little bit more substantial. So the back side of that tan strip on the far left has like a white background with an orange, peachy orange pattern on it. So I decided to bring that in just to help carry through that, you know, peachy orange color and it just it adds some weight to that it kind of counterbalances my my sentiment in the top right corner. So I felt better about that. And then it just brought in some of that same color of enamel dots. I just went with the smallest size and just added three of them in kind of some of the white space just to help finish off the card. So here's a final close-up look of the two cards I made today. A big thank you to Not Too Shabby Shop for sponsoring today's video and for the amazing products. Please be sure to check out the description box below for the products used and for the playlist of the other participants. Thank you so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.